it seemed like you had a plan right from the beginning to say, I'm going to set this thing up the way I want to set it up. Yeah, with um, Shannon and Jenny and Katie Mackey and a few other 1500 runners in there, Chelsea Riley, people with a good kick. I um, didn't want it to be too slow and then turn into a 1500 because that doesn't favor me. So Amy and I were supposed to keep it going at this sort of five minute ish pace. We were a little slow, but um, with the wind, that was hard enough. But it looked like the pace was sort of right in the sweet spot so that when it was time to move, you had plenty in the tank to work with. Yeah, it felt fairly comfortable for me. Um, maybe it took the edge off for my last lap, I don't know, but um, I was glad to shake off some of the more dangerous people in the last few laps. So that was the, the main goal was to make the team. And in the last two laps, try and win. <laughs> How was the heat out there? It wasn't as bad as it's been this week, so. It wasn't as bad as yesterday, I'd say. Um, my shakeout run yesterday felt horrible, so I really feel for everyone that raced with yesterday. Um, we were all prepared with ice vests and stuff, so we did our best, but um, it could have been a lot worse. It was definitely bearable. So. What's the plan up to world? Just get fit, race more. I haven't raced much all year. I hope to do 5K in Paris and try and run fast, try and run under 15 minutes by however much I can. Um, and then a few 1500s and then hopefully get ready to make the final at Worlds and finish higher than I have. So. Um, stress fracture. So I managed to stay in shape during that and I started running again in um, March, I'd say. Oh, wow, so you actually didn't run for four months? Or four months? Uh, no, it was like two months. Two months, yeah. okay. So December, January were off, and then February, March, getting back into that workouts, really, end of March. Huh. So anyway, I'm healthy now, everything's good now. Have you even, have you even uh, paused to think that maybe the, almost the, the near total break from running was perhaps beneficial, or, or not, you did not feel that way? You know, it might have helped me come into form closer to the World Championships. I had to skip cross-country, unfortunately, which I like this, to use as preparation, but maybe I'll be fresher in August. Because, I mean, I mean, U.S. distance running, hardly anybody closest with Jenny Simpson, and you were applying an awful lot of pressure on her. That that must be you pretty good about your about your finishing speed. Yeah, I was ready for her to do like a two-minute last 800, and I was going to just be like, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be able to do. So um, I hung and hung, and um, with 100 to go, I thought maybe, maybe if I could close up on her, I could outlean her, but then my legs just couldn't go that fast. Yeah, well, it was, it was still, it was still, it, it should have been an encouraging sign for you, I would think. Yeah, I mean, she's got wheels, so. The two months off, what did you do for cross training? Um, I did a lot of pool running, I used a little bit of Alter G. Um, I was in Arizona, so I got to pool run outside, so that was nice. I didn't know how I was going to come off of that. You never know how cross training keeps you fit or if you did it hard enough or not. So I think I just maintained where I was. Um, I just go 